Hi, this is Steve from the G Suite Tips team here in the UK, and you can find us online at gsuitetips.com. You can follow us on the Twitter and the Google Plus, and of course the YouTube channel for G Suite Tips. Now, today's tip is for any G Suite admins out there. This only really applies to G Suite users, not to consumer Gmail users. And I'm going to show you how to restore a deleted user. Um, so in order to do this, you need to have um, privileges on your account. You need super admin or at least user admin privilege in order to be able to make changes to user accounts. And of course, with those great powers come great responsibilities. Uh, be careful out there, uh, especially when deleting users. However, I'm going to show you that you can um, you can get stuff back. So first of all, I'm going to show you in my admin panel here. I'm in the users section. I've got a couple of users uh, in this organization. Uh, one of them is me. I'm not going to delete me, but the other one is my colleague, Mark. I'm just going to copy Mark's uh, email address here. I'm going to search for that in a second. And then I'm going to go to Google Drive. And I'm going to use an advanced search here. So I'm going to say owner is not anyone, but a specific person. In my case, paste in Mark's name. So there's Mark. OK. And then I'm going to click search just to prove that Mark does own some content. So there's a bunch of files and folders that are owned by the Mark account, because I've done a search, owner is Mark. If I flip into the list view, I should see that the owner of these things is Mark. So he hasn't got a lot of stuff, but he has stuff. OK. So to the admin console, um, you can actually access the delete by clicking through to the user or just running to the end here. You've got a couple of options, delete or suspend. Suspend would make the account, the account inactive um, for everybody. Nobody could sign into it. And if you emailed it, it would bounce. But if you delete it, it will go, OK? And that will free up one license. So I'm going to click Delete. OK. I get the option while I'm deleting uh, very sensibly to transfer the ownership of things. I'm going to be dangerous and untick these things, calendar items and Google Plus pages. And I'm going to delete the account without any data transfer. And what we should see is that will disappear. Now I've only got one user in this section. But over here on the left hand side on the filters, and by the way, you can turn off the filters and turn on the filters. And I'm going to change from active users. I can look at suspended. I should have none in there. I've got nobody suspended. If I did, I could unsuspend them. And I can bring back, if I go to recently deleted users, I should see Mark in there. If you did the data transfer that I uh, didn't do, but if you did, you can see it in progress or failed. Sometimes they time out and fail, and you can run it again. Uh, but you could see data transfer in progress if you've got a lot of files that are being transferred across. But we're on recently deleted, and there is Mark. So if I come back to here and I reload this page, let's just see if I can reload it without having to issue the query again. None of your files or folders match this search. They've been deleted because when I deleted Mark, I deleted everything that Mark owns as well, and I did not transfer them. So. Let's say we change our minds and bring want to bring Mark back. I can tick here. You can see this doesn't look obvious. When you roll over, you could have an icon there or this little colored blob. I click. Uh, then I can use this button here, undelete user. So I want to restore them. I don't want to restore them. I want to undelete them. So let's do that. Undelete the user into which uh, org unit. I'm going to leave it top level and click done. And as if by magic, when I go back to um, active users, we should see Mark as though nothing had ever happened. He's back. And back into results here. If I refresh, I'm hoping. It can take a little while, but as he hasn't got a lot of files, they've come back. And it's as easy as that. Now, that delete and uh, undelete or restore um, used to be around for about five or six days. And after that, um, it was gone forever. Now, Google recently, I think in October this year, 2017, um, updated that. So you now have 20 days, 20 days to um, bring stuff back uh, and recover it. And that really is today's tip. So it's we showed you how to delete and undelete. And I proved it by looking at their uh, Mark's um, files in Drive that, as you notice, went away uh, when his account was deleted and came back when he was restored. Great caution when we use that, um, being careful not to delete users when we don't want to. And just to wrap up, you can find us on the web at gsuitetips.com. 
You can follow us on Twitter and Google Plus and the YouTube channel. And I'd like to say thank you very much for watching and see you on the next one.